Hey gamers, Tony here from the ClassicAlite.com Gaming and Electronic Podcast back with another iOS app review. Before we get started, I do want to mention that the, this video footage is recorded with the Avermedia Game Broadcaster HD and the audio is recorded with the IK Multimedia iRig Micast. Today we're taking a look at Trigger Fist, the new multiplayer shooter from Lake Effect Applications. It's a universal app for both iPhone and iPad and it'll set you back $4.99 in the iTunes App Store. Now the setting of this title is this, there's absolutely no story or no single player campaign. You play as a soldier set on dominating the competition. As far as gameplay goes, let's jump right in because there's a lot to talk about. There's four game modes to Trigger Fist. There's a free for all which is every man for himself. There's team deathmatch which is a four on four multiplayer. There's king of the hill which is a team four on four match where you hold the hill for 120 seconds. And then there's a mode called sacred goat. That's right, you heard me, the animal, Sacred Goat. And that's where you hold and protect the goat for 90 seconds. It's really funny and really fun. These modes are set in stone with no customization, but they are fun, so there's no customization that's needed. You can actually play these modes in one of four ways. You can play them in single player, which is self-explanatory versus bots. You can play in online matchmaking against anyone again in the globe uh, through Game Center. And then you can also play with just friends in a private match as well online, or you can play locally through Bluetooth. So Trigger Fist is all about multiplayer, and the optimal way to play is through one of the online modes, but it's nice that they included a single player versus bots mode for those who still aren't on the web. Well, you can play the game as one of three soldier types, a scout, a gunner, and a rifleman. And each soldier is set with a number of perks to unlock, as well as special guns and equipment to upgrade to fit the type of soldier that they are. Every match that you play with a specific soldier contributes to your XP with that soldier, and also contributes to a global rank and global XP. So even though the soldiers are already set up for you, there's a lot to unlock with each soldier as you rank up, which is a great setup for mobile devices, because it streamlines the process while providing an addictive gameplay with unlockables. In fact, if you could summarize Trigger Fist in one sentence, it would just be that. This game streamlines the shooter genre to finally work well on mobile devices while retaining the addictive and fun nature of a shooter. You play Trigger Fist from a third-person perspective over the shoulder view that kind of reminds you of the good old SOCOM days from the early PS2. There are six levels and scenarios to play in, which keep you busy for hours. I've put a great amount of time into this game already, and I have not been bored with the levels yet. Although I would like to see more in a future update. As far as matchmaking is concerned, the network is currently working great. I've played over 20 matches already and found a game to join immediately each time. So great work, leg effect. Now let's talk controls. Trigger Fist may have finally figured out the right direction for controls when it comes to shooters on touchscreens. I've played all the Novas, the Modern Combats, and more, and Trigger Fist finally nails it above the rest and sets a new standard. Here's the setup. You free roam with the left thumbstick as usual, but instead of trying to free roam with the right virtual stick as well, you simply swipe up to stand, swipe down to crouch, and you may be asking yourself, well how do you aim? Well the devs did a great job of creating a partial auto aim feature that has to be tried for yourself just so you can understand how well it actually works. You simply look left and right, and if you're close to an enemy, your character does a semi-auto lock, which is very hard to explain, but I hope you can see it in this video. The result is a perfect mix of skill shots and aided design. Like I said, you have to try it, and I know you'll love it. To fire, you simply tap the big red circle. You can also hold it in to rapid fire and move your crosshairs at the same time so it controls all the movement and it works really well. There's also three more buttons, one to melee, there's one to switch weapons by swiping or clicking to reload, and then there's one for grenades, all placed very well at a very good size, so I had no issue using them. Controls were great and I give a lot of props to the devs for gambling on a new control system that really works for touchscreens. Graphically the game looks really good, but it's not the best I've seen. The actual character models are great, but some of the levels use repetitive textures and so on. There's also a little pop-in from time to time when things get going fast in the game, but it's not too bad. So it's not a real complaint at all graphically, I just want you to know about it. My only real complaint for Trigger Fist comes in the sound department. There's little to no music in the game at all. Sound effects are elementary and lightly used. 
I would have liked to see a stronger sound to the game that really increased the effect. In conclusion though, Trigger Fist is an amazing iOS online multiplayer shooter. For those of you like me who've been waiting for a real online shooter experience for mobile touchscreens, this is it. Trigger Fist is worth the $4.99, and if you like shooters and online competition, we give it our highest rec recommendation and suggest that you pick it up today. Once again, this has been Tony from the ClassicLee.com Gaming and Electronic Podcast. Make sure you like and favorite this video, subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on G2PO.com, and check us out at the iPhone Alliance. Thanks and have a good day.